And we're running. Good, 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 because this is a good one. So, first thing is... Perv cam is complete. Some of you will remember this. It's basically the Extendi camera. The little camera on the end here, and I've got it hacked up to one of my CRT viewfinders. Nice and neat composite port put there, and of course a 9 volt connector to power this from 6 volts. Works a treat. Even Mum likes it. But unlike hospital use, this will not be used for any human orifice viewing. And on to the other thing I want to cover, because let's just grab a multimeter. Here we go. Transistor testing. This is one that Mr. VX needs. Now this is a way I learned to do it just by myself. So just bear with me while I grab a random transistor. Here we go, it's a nice random transistor grabbed. Almost. Almost got it. Let's grab an unknown one actually. There we go. Yeah, this one will do nicely. So you have your transistor, your three pins which are just about visible on the crappy camera. So, what we do is we grab our multimeter because you can't see any of the modes on the dial. We turn it to diode mode. So we get that to sort of angle where it is vaguely visible and it is vaguely visible. We monitor that. Now we should get about a thing of 0.500 and something for about half a volt voltage drop. And what you do is you look for those voltage drops. Now I always start at the middle because that's most likely the base. And I always start with the positive there. So in the middle pin, you pick your positive, grab your negative, put your negative on one of the outer pins, and if something appears, you're in the right place. This one, in on this case, is 763, so you're looking at a very wide range. And of course, on the other one, it's the same. And the other one has nothing. No, it's the same. Then we put it between the two outside ones. If we get anything, something's wrong, and we're not getting anything, so nothing's appearing on the display. So that means this is a PNPN transistor, because we've got two outer negatives, and it goes negative, positive, negative, NPN. Now, if it was the other way round, then I'd check, just to make sure it doesn't conduct both ways, putting the negative in the middle and the positive on the outside. Now depending on how it turns out, this particular transistor is an NPN transistor, and as far as I know, that's the best way of telling if your transistors are good. I don't have any other way to test it, I don't have a proper transistor tester, I've never built one. But this is a BC547 NPN. And not a bad way of testing whether they're still good or not. And if they're short, well, you won't get the lovely 500 or so voltage drop. So that is how to test a transistor. Start with the positive in the middle for NPN, or negative in the middle for PMP, and hopefully that was nice and clear for you to follow. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully that helps. And a little tip for the op op amp is I'll put these back in here try and desolder it stick a socket in and power it up without the chip see what happens if the fuse still blows it's, then the chip is not likely to be the problem but I'm guessing it's probably most and do them diode checks, desolder, desolder all the diodes on the board and just double check them with the meter. Preferably in diode mode, but resistance mode seems to be working nicely for you, so continue with what you're comfortable with. 
And those are my electronic tips of the night. I'm pleased my little camera's come out nicely. Very useful for looking behind the cabinets. Did it just not that long ago. Also had to put a new end cap on my laser pointer because I lost the other one in Canterbury. Right. That's me. I will link this on. And thanks for watching. All that good jazz.